It is week 10, it is the Shadowhawker self-service vending machine, and it is go time. Welcome to Community and Collaboration. Now, this is one of the exercise areas where if you had a goal of having people leave comments on your posts or subscribe to your channel or interact with you, provide content, content suggestions, welcome to having a goal that relies on community. This is probably one of the areas where there's a risk of it, given how I'm recording this before it kicks in. And one of the things that we'll be talking about is experience of being part of the course. And as you are part of the Shadowhawker team and your engagement and your interaction has been with the course through the forum, and that's how you've been able to engage with other students, there's a likelihood there might be some drift. We've got community in here in collaboration because it's an important close out. You've needed to experience it in order to be able to discuss it. If we were to do, say, a two semester long intro to e-marketing, advanced e-marketing, then community would come in relatively early in the second season. Uh, it is a concept that is experienced. So as always, there's the Slido. It's one of your points of interaction. A reminder that the Padlet and the Waddle forums have been means by which you can build a sense of belonging to the course. Now, a couple of things here is there is going to be some post-class discussion on the forums for get involved in. What extent did you need community? Did you need engagement? This course, we are very driven by the self-service internship, providing content for people to discuss, discussions leading to exchanges of value between students, which builds a sense of cohort and community. Crack open that Word document. It's going to be 10 minutes on the clock. First of all is we're bringing together a couple of retrospective elements because when you get into the eTaper, the technology performance review, you're going to need to look at how well did you go goals versus outcomes. Go back and have a look at those goals you set for yourself. So the first couple of weeks we said, look, what do you want to get out of the course? And I'm asking you to go look back at that and go, did that happen or is this in the process of happening? Have the assessment tasks help you chase those goals? And if you've submitted one, you're working on two, three is ongoing and the fourth is looming on the horizon. So your first task is obviously a participation and engagement. Has that helped you towards your goals? Your second assessment task was the plan the uh, technology engagement analysis, and the third task that you're working towards at the moment, this performance review. And down the end is the ePortfolio. Have the tasks helped or hindered? Have they worked for you for the goals that you set to achieve? So you know the drill. Start the timer for 10 minutes and pause the video. Welcome back. This is an interesting question for me to ask. Uh, again, 10 weeks into the semester, still multiple tasks left to submit. Question here is, Pursuit of your goals, knowing that you've got three weeks and a number of tasks, or three weeks and two tasks left, have a think about what it would take to reach that goal you're after, and maybe have a chat about it in the forums. See what you can do to support each other in specifying what it is that you wanted to achieve, and how close you are to getting there, and what you need to do to make that, make it over the line to the final. So the second exercise that I want you to do, Shadow Team, you get the advantage here you can pause the video and go read the article. The live learners had to go full real time on this one. Your task here is to combine the three. What is it that you've done? How, what is it that this theory explains? What does the theory mean for you and the way that you've engaged with the course? And are there other ways in which you could explain your engagement? Does the theory, does the theory of parasocial connection explain your experience in the course? You'll note there's a couple of other things in there. There's the shared goods of value. Now, you'll also see that there's a document up on Waddle that talks about shared goods of value. I want you to also have a look at that it's because again, what we're looking for here is how do I take a theory? How do I explain my experience through things I can cite and reference, citations I can point to and theories I can talk about? And there's three of them up there. There's the parasocial and then there's the shared goods of value. And then there's co-creation of value sitting in there as well. If you haven't read the paper, pause now and go. But otherwise, 15 minutes on the clock and uh, see you soon, mates. Welcome back. It is good to have you. That could have been one of the more heavy lifting in. A lot of this course is very applied, very hands-on, get the mouse moving, get the keyboard, 
in application. We want you to pick up a theory that is parasocial connectivity and use it to explain what you have done. We want you to do that because this is the behavior, take theory, compare it against experience, that we're looking for both in the ePortfolio and in the eTape. The way in which you've engaged shadows, the way in which that you've had the most opportunity to engage is through the forum. I'd like to give you that chance and I'm gonna ask the day walkers and night stalkers to do the same. Talk about the experience, talk about how it's, feel free to get meta. Feel free to talk about the fact that you're talking about the fact on an interactive forum with people who you're interacting with a text-based medium. All right, final dance, round three, actually three and a half. I'd like to open up the community connection. So it is community and collaboration, and this is the collaboration. So your third exercise here, I would like you to look at your project. What could you do for someone else? What offer can you put out there to say, hey, I, I'm in a position that I could do this for you. Does anyone want to take up the opportunity? What I'm giving you the prompt to do here is to go and say, what can I offer? But then also, what can I offer can I take up? How can I collaborate in week 11, a very deliberate driven strategy that we talk about it, we sort it out, we get the coordination this week, and then in week 11, people partner over and team up. So short one, short exercise this one, five minutes on the clock, action action could you take with your project in week 11 to either promote, distribute another project, timer begins now, pause the tape, all right. Now obviously what I'm gonna par now that little idea up with is actually posting it up in the forums, so making the offers, trading in and connecting with each other. So in your documentation up on the forum, there will be a trade thread, what opportunities are there for you to engage with each other? That can include outside the project. I just want to get you initially to focus just on your project. Post it up in the forum. See what it is you can share. Get the parasocial connectivity underway. And look, there's one of the other things I just want to say. Uh, I'm going to mention this a couple of times. I'll say it to the live class as well. This is the third year of talking parasocial connectivity in a subject that is based and it's delivered digitally where I'm a talking head on a screen. Uh, yes, I've got the live interactions, but I'm basically, I'm going to get a little old for a second here. I'm Max Headroom of higher education. I'm a head and shoulders object that goes and presents content to you in a one way. Uh, we come back to the hypermedia communication models of Hoffman and Novak. This is a broadcast. The live learning events are the interactive. There is one to many, many to one this is basically a broadcast. So if there is a sense of parasocial connectivity that you have to the persona that is the marketing lecturer of MKTG2032, it's a really meta moment for you. However it rolls, however it goes, there's a theory that explains. And now, having said that, get over into the collaboration thread and go team up and partner up and back your mates in the course. There's a bunch of people doing awesome things. And I reckon y'all should go and be proud of it and support each other and back each other from this beyond. And with that, if you need to raise me, need to reach me, you know the deal, you know the drill, you know where to find me. There's the contact points. Booking forms are up on the waddle. And my friends, we are done.